Julia Backus. Um, I'm on the Red Knights team from Minnesota. I'm Brad Shibley. I'm from Benilde St. Margaret's back in Minnesota, United States. Uh, and I'm part of the RoboCup engineering team for Sydney 2019. Brad and I are kind of the main coders on the team right now. So we've been working a lot. So a lot, I've done a lot this year, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, cut this. Uh, okay, okay, where do you want it? Like one, five, four? Uh, maybe a little shorter. Okay. Okay. Kind of why do you want to go yeah. into the getting, In order to get into RoboCup, we need to qualify. And we were the only high school uh, qualified for RoboCup out of in, in the world that I know of so far. Uh, for at least our competition, I believe. And the rest is uh, universities, so that's really big for us. Looking around, we seem outclassed for sure. A lot of people have better looking robots, and you can tell that they've spent like years on it, um, versus we spend class time every day and a lot of time after school in the summer. But this is like a school project for us, um, versus people where this is their thesis project. So there's a bit of a difference. <laughs> I like the challenge of it. I like um, I like the process of just kind of engineering in general, but especially what I've been doing, where you try something, probably doesn't work. You try it again, probably doesn't work. You try it again, you try it again, you try it again. And you just have to keep going. And when it finally works, it's like the best feeling ever. I don't think we should cut that off because we can use the mount for later, right? Earlier, we did our competition. Um, and that challenge scored us more points than we have in previous years combined, that challenge alone. And it was awesome seeing that like the part of it that I worked on worked and got us a bunch of points. And that was just awesome. So this is our first generation robot, which means that it's new this year. So the fact that it's a new robot has its advantages and challenges. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. We got a lot of new stuff working on it, like CO2 sensor, motion detection, um, we're working on hazard detection. It's very maneuverable, a lot more than last year. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I love it a lot. I've heard about my school's engineering program and what they've been doing with RoboCup uh, since I joined my school uh, five years ago, actually. So uh, I've been ramping up to get onto the engineering team and to get into RoboCup for as long as I can remember because I think that just having this opportunity to be in Sydney is just a wonderful opportunity. So it's, I'm a programmer, so it's more studying code for me. Uh, so it's mostly we do it through our engineering program. It's not as much high school mathematics or uh, coding at all. It's mostly self-taught at this point because a lot of stuff we're doing is really specific and really oriented to rescue situations. So it's a lot of personal research and personal learning that uh, I need to go through in order to solve the tasks that I need to do. Uh, I think the most difficult thing is uh, working cohesively as a team. Uh, because we can have each individual component working well and the hardest part is putting them all together and working as a team to make one solid robot that can do multiple tasks and drive around. I mean, I love doing this. I love doing engineering and coding and things like that. Um, next year, I'm going to the University of Wisconsin-Madison um, and I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm thinking about physics, I'm thinking about engineering, I'm thinking about computer science. Um, so. I mean, I'm thinking STEM, but I'm not sure exactly what to do. I'm going to Purdue University in the United States, and I'm thinking of studying aerospace engineering and computer science, uh, so I can just have a more well-rounded engineering skill set, uh, so I could you know, help space exploration, because I think that's very, very interesting to me.